with celebrity culture is so massive, it drives newspaper sales. It's one of the few things that, that might you know, still keep the press afloat in this country for good or for evil. You know, it's a massive, it dictates um, tabloid agenda, it dictates news agenda to a massive amount. You know, tomorrow, every single paper and tonight, every single news programme will be full of the fact that Kate and William are having a baby. And that's, you know, that, that's celebrity, that's gossip. So given all of this, if anybody didn't know, yes, hurrah, a new heir, has, a new heir is coming to us, hurrah. Um, and um, uh, uh, so the fact that it's only left in the hands of kind of, of, of unkind-minded idiots really saddens me that celebrity culture is only written about by, you know, OK and Heat um, and, and, okay and um, Hello um, and talked about in those terms because I think, you know, you need someone who's got, like, first of all, some humanity and secondly, a bit of intelligence to be able to go, oh, you know, this is an interesting phenomenon that we have here or what would the implications be of this rather than it always just being someone going, well, she's sweaty, she's fat, she couldn't hold it together, end. Um, so yeah, so you know, uh, that, that, that's something that I would like to see a bit more brain power, to, you know, and, and just sort of people treating it with the importance that it deserves. It is an important course, it's an important thing. You can't pretend it's not important. It's massive. It's what the majority of conversations are at the moment.